Hello, welcome to Daily News from Ajaya TV. Daily scientific meetings of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in holy city of Qom, Iran. The residence of His Eminence Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi, a respected religious authority, hosted another enlightening scholarly session in the holy city of Qom, attended by numerous scholars, religious figures, and students of Islamic seminaries. This meeting delved into various topics pertaining to Islamic ethics, Islamic jurisprudence, Islamic history, etc. In this session, one of the attendees asked the following question. Is the position of Tawalla, love and loyalty, and Tabarra, dissociation and enmity, in the principles of religion or in its branches? In response to this question, His Eminence stated, The guardianship and love of the Almighty God, the Prophets, the Imams, and Lady Fatima Zahra, peace be upon them, as well as the enmity and heartfelt dissociation from the enemies of the Almighty God, the Prophets, the Imams, and Lady Fatima Zahra, peace be upon them, are considered part of the principles of religion because they pertain to the aspects of monotheism, prophethood, and emimate. However, the fact that in the practical treaties of the jurists, Tawalla and Tabarra are mentioned as branches of religion is due to their practical nature and the require for their realization in the external world. It refers to the expression and demonstration of love and enmity, both verbally and in action, because the expression of Tawalla and Tabarra is obligatory. Therefore, since in expression they take on a practical aspect and the branches of religion encompass the practical commands of Islam, these two are stated as part of the branches of religion. The steam viewers on Majaya TV can watch these sessions live and directly on this TV network, a collection of other TV channels, and also on the Al Shirazi app and TV boxes simultaneously with these sessions at 11.15 a.m. Qom local time. Lebanese Minister of Health Advisor meets with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy City of Qom. Dr. Fatima Mekki, advisor to the Lebanese Minister of Health, met with Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi in the Holy City of Qom during her visit. The meeting took place at the religious authorities' residence in the sacred city. Both parties discussed the current situation in Lebanon, how to serve the Shia community in the country, and various global developments. Pilgrimage caravan of Zainab al-Zahra, peace be upon her, from Iraq, at the religious authorities' residence in Qom. On Monday, 18th of Dilgada, 1445 AH, May 27, 2024, the residence of His Eminence Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi in the holy city of Qom hosted the pilgrimage caravan of Zainab al-Zahra, peace be upon her, from Samawa, Iraq. The members of this pilgrimage caravan attended the daily scholarly sessions of Islamic scholars with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, prayed in congregation, and concluded their visit by benefiting from the teachings of Sayyid Jafar Shirazi. PR officer of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi visits headquarters of the Union of Shia Satellite Channels and Radios. Sayyid Arif Nasullah, director of the public relations office of Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi in the holy city of Karbala, along with a delegation, visited the headquarters of the Union of Shia Satellite Channels and Radios in the holy city of Najaf. During this visit, he was informed about the activities of this organization and conveyed some of the recommendations of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi regarding the importance of utilizing media in religious and promotional activities. He also expressed gratitude for the constructive efforts of the officials and staff of the Union of Shia Satellite Channels and Radios. Weekly Religious Ceremony at the Hosseini of Sultan al-Mu'allifin in Madagascar The weekly ceremony of seeking intercession from the Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them was held at the Hosseini of Sultan al-Mu'allifin in Mahajanga City, Madagascar, one of the centers affiliated with the religious authority. This event took place on Sunday, 17th of the Ghada, 1445 AH, with the participation of a group of Shia devotees. The program included the recitation of the Holy Quran, the Noble Hadith of Kisa, narrating the virtues of the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, and a religious lecture.